kindergarten friends, happy Thursday. Today we're celebrating 100 days of school. If you are a B-Day student, yesterday was 100 days of school, but we're celebrating all week long because it's such an accomplishment to get to 100 days of school. So for language arts today, we're going to be looking at our short story, the big sale, looking for some more of those magic e-words, reviewing those later on in our workbook as well, and then make sure you look, do all of your Google Slides because Mrs. Morgan and Miss Beery got some very exciting things ready for you, some more 100 day activities and stories. So let's jump into language arts and let's have a great day together. Okay, so we're still looking at the question, why do we like certain stories? So we read the story, the best story, and we learned how some of the characters in the story, they liked adventure stories or they liked animal stories, they may have liked fairy tale stories, and everybody has their own interests and their own likes. So Miss Beery really likes mystery stories, and sometimes I like to uh, read books about history, um, things that have happened in the past, or maybe even fiction that happened in the past, but it's not necessarily, it didn't really happen. So those are some of my interests. I also love to read fairy tale stories about kings and queens, and all the stories like we read in the, in the classroom, the Berenstein Bear books, the Pink Delicious, Pete the Cat, those are all great too. So today we're going to be reading a story, The Bake Sale, we're going to read it through, and then the second time we read it through, I want you to read it with me. The Bake Sale. It is a fun little tale. Saw some magic E's in there. I hope you look at them too. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to read the story together. We're going to read it first all the way through. Miss Beery will read it, and then the second time through, I will pause so that way you get a chance to read it too. If you have the packet, make sure you have your reading finger ready and follow along with me. If you don't have your packet yet, don't worry. You'll be getting it later in the week, and then you can follow along and practice again. The Bake Sale. It is a fun little tale. We got an exclamation point, so we need to be excited about it. It is a fun little tale. Next page. Reading finger ready, pointing to each of those words. Max and Kate like the gate. How can they get it? They will do a bake sale. So let's look, we got some different punctuation marks. We have Max and Kate like the game. There's a period, so that is a statement. They are saying that they both like the game. How can they get it? There's a question. They like the game, but how will they get it? They will do a bake sale. So they're solving the question. They will do a bake sale, they're excited. They need money for the game, so they will do a bake sale to earn the money. They make cake and jam. They give it away. They can get the game. Okay, next page. They make cake and jam. They give it away. They can get the game. So the problem was is they wanted a game and they needed to do a bake sale to earn the money for the game. So they sold cake and jam and earned the money. Let's go back through the story again, and this time I will pause so that way you can read it after Miss Beery. Okay, Miss Beery's turn first. The bake sale, your turn. Miss Beery's turn. It is a fun little tale. Your turn. Great job, next page. Okay, Miss Beery's turn first, and then you'll read after me. Max and Kate like the game, your turn. Miss Beery's turn. How can they get it? Your turn. Miss Beery's turn. They will do a bake sale. Your turn. Wonderful last page. Miss Beery's turn. They make cake and jam. Your turn. Great job, Miss Beery's turn. They give it away. Your turn. Wonderful last line. They can get the game. Your turn. Okay, next we're going to be looking at pages 144 in our packet. We're going to be looking for the short A sound, the A, and then the long A sound, the A, when we have the magic E. And then after we do the workbook, we're going to look at some short A words and some sh long A words on our pocket chart. Okay, Miss Beery is ready with her black crayon. I have my highlighter to highlight that magic E, and I'm looking at pages 144. So our first word is V-A-N. Let's sound it out. V -A -N. Mm. One more time. V -a -n. Van. Go ahead and trace it. V A N. And I want you to write it twice. V A N. Finger spaces. V A N. 
wonderful. Now you see the magic E, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. And remember, you don't have to highlight it at home, but Miss Theory and Mrs. Morgan both said highlighter, so you're more than welcome. Or you can maybe use a bright crayon, like a orange or a yellow, to point out that magic E. And remember, when we have that magic E, we don't say the E, but we're gonna make that A sound say A instead of A. So let's sound it out. What does G say? G. What does the magic E make the A say? A. And what does T say? Tss. Ready? G, A, tss. gate. So we have a gate here. Go ahead and trace the word. G, A, T, E. Go ahead and write it. G, A, T, E. One more time. G, A, T, E. Gate. Wonderful. Okay, the last one we're going to do is S A N D. Let's go ahead and send it up. S A N D. Sand. So we have sand here. We're going to go ahead and trace it. S A N D. Sand. Go ahead and write it. S A N D. Finger space. S A N D. Wonderful. You did a great job. Remember, for extra practice, you can go over each of the words with a crayon or maybe a marker. Remember, the more you practice writing, the better you will get. Take your time. It does not need to be rushed. Miss Fury can write pretty quickly because I've practiced for so many years. So you need to do the same thing. The more you practice, the better you will get. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some more short A and long A words on our pocket chart. Okay, boys and girls, Miss Fury got my pocket chart ready, and I have some different words on the left side are all the short A's, the A, all the way down, and then we have an E at the end, so I will have my magic E to make the A say its name. So let's sound out each of these words. Er, at, rat. We add a magic E there, we have er, eight, rate. So it says rat, rate. So it looks almost the same, but we have that magic E. Next we have s, a, m, sam. If we make it a magic E word with E on the end, then we say S A M C. Great job. Next one, we have H A N hand. There's no magic E here, but there is one here, so we're going to say A instead. H A N hand. Wonderful. Let's go down to the next one. We have M A T mat. We have a magic E here, so it's going to say A M A T mate. Next one we have m a n man, and we have magic e, so we're gonna say m a n main. Wonderful. Let's go back to the top and do the right side. We have t a p tap with the magic e. We say t a p tape. Next one we have h a t hat. Have a magic e, so we say h a t hat. Next one we have k a n can. And then we have magic E, so we're going to say k a n k a n Next we have m a d mad Then we have magic E, m a d made Last one we have m a p nap With the magic E, we say m a p nap Wonderful. I'm going to go through them one more time. Ready? Rat. Rate. Sam. Same. Pan. Pain, mat, mate, man, main, tap, tape, hat, hate, can, cane, mad, main, nap, neat. Boys and girls, it would be great if you would pause the video and try writing some of these words with the short A sound and then the long A sound with the magic E. So you can get your whiteboards out if you have those at home. Maybe just get a plain piece of paper, and then you can highlight those magic E's at the end. And then you can send a picture of them to Mrs. Morgan or Miss Beery today. Okay, boys and girls, the last thing we need to do for language arts before we can finish up today is we need to look at our writing packet and see what sentences we need to write today in our packet. So you will look up here. You will see a picture of Sarah and the fairy tales in your packet. You have the sentence space here, and then you can draw a picture. Let's look at the sentence. Sarah likes to read. I like fairy tales the best. I pretend to live in a giant castle. Okay, boys and girls? 
and that's three whole sentences. So I'd love to see if you can get all three written down or at least get one or two written down. All the sentences are up here. They're also on the slides in Google Slides. Let's look at that sentence one more time. Sarah likes to read, period. I like fairy tales the best, period. I pretend to live in a giant castle, period. Make sure you have those finger spaces. Remember, if you write with your right hand, you can write, have the finger space, and then write some more. If you're left-handed, another thing you can do is you can have a crayon there, so that way you can put a crayon in a space as you're writing. We have those little spacemen that we use in the classroom, and if we haven't used them yet, we will be pulling them out soon. Um, just make sure you're taking your time as you're writing. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. You don't need to erase, erase, erase. Just take your time and write the letters the best as you can. That's all we ever ask for. Mrs. Morgan and Miss Beery don't expect you to be perfect the first time. We just want you to try. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more language arts. Bye, friends.